Everybody wants to send it. What's on your mind today? It's good, it's good to see you, by the way. We've both you been too. busy, so yes. it's good to connect. Um, what, are we, what are we filming tonight? What are we doing? So we've gotten a question okay. often, which is, how do you know how fast to go into a jump? Uh, and I don't know. I just watch people and try and do what they do. Yeah. Okay. Well, there are some adjustment mechanisms. So let's do this. Let's set up a jump okay. and we'll mark out a landing, something that's, that's you know, not, not highly consequential. And then we're going to get you going into the different speeds and playing with speed and understanding how you control the outcome of a jump at given speeds. So uh, we'll try to try to give you like the best possible control for like a last minute decision coming into a jump. So this is really how we read jumps. So if we want to look at it first, we take a look at the jump, make sure we kind of like approximately know our speed, but there's always an adjustment at the last minute for a skilled rider. All right, so um, I've got this, this little skill zone set up here. We've got a nice landing marked out. We've got a sweet kicker courtesy of sweet lines. I don't know what happened to our plastic ramps, but I think they might have gotten uh, re-gifted to somebody. Thanks, thanks for the jump, Kat. Appreciate Thank you, it. Kat. Um, so we're going to get going with this here and we're going to work on creating a situation where we can come into here at different speeds and get the same outcome. So the goal is going to be to land front wheel, back wheel, kind of more or less down the back slope of that 2x10. Now we don't have to have an exact landing here because typically with a nice little kicker like this we want an equivalent landing. So it is going to feel like a little nose heavy because we're landing on flat ground here. But it's pretty safe here and we're going to just practice this and try to get different try to get different speeds going with the same distance outcome so what are the variables that we control when we're coming into like what are the things we can adjust coming into a jump when you think about like coming into a jump for the first time uh well speed will probably be the first one mm -hmm. just how hard i'm gonna pedal into here yeah um and then how hard i'm pushing or popping off of that how much you're lift. pressing in yeah so really it's the control over our own human suspension so if we want to go further we're going to press in more essentially firming up our legs mm -hmm. and creating more compression uh, if we want to go less far we're going to think about absorbing it a little bit um, or just being kind of neutral the other thing that we have in addition to speed is uh, whether we're accelerating decelerating or going a constant velocity okay so at the same speed we're going to go further accelerating than we would decelerating right at constant velocity is going to be somewhere in the middle but we're not going to worry about that too much today if you do want to like try to boost this like at a lower speed the one thing you can do is accelerate from a really low speed to that slower speed and you will go a little further than you would at a constant velocity sounds okay. like dirt bike life just i was just going to say pull that throttle. i was just going to say that's how you boost on a dirt bike you just you know like grab a handful of throttle here obviously we don't have quite quite the same throttle but we can kind of create that whether we have like something to pump coming into a jump or whether we're taking a couple pedal strokes or whatever. But for today, we're gonna to focus mostly on speed and what we're doing with our legs. Mm -hmm. And this is really, you know, when I tell riders that I don't really know exactly how fast to go into a new jump, I mean, who does? Nobody really does until you've tried it, you don't really know. But mm -hmm. then even once I'm comfortable with that jump, I'm gonna to try to take it at varying speeds because I don't know what's gonna happen on the trail. Like maybe I have, you know, a bad run up or on a day where the ground's ro rolling a little more slowly, I still wanna be able to jump it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna practice these jumps at varying speeds. Now, obviously, when you're trying this at home, try this in a non-consequential place. This isn't the thing you want to start out on, like a big gap, you know. So just start out on a, on a tabletop with this or in a setting like we've got here. Make sure you keep yourself safe. Yeah. All right, so we'll get started with this. So to start, um, my recommendation is to, to just go into this with a goal in mind of clearing it at a comfortable speed for you. So just start with your comfortable speed, and then we can either decide we want to slow it down a little bit and try it from there or we can speed it up a little bit, whatever you prefer. So this is just something you want to make sure that you're just doing this incrementally in, in small increments as you change your speed. Okay, All right, cool. Let's get started. Nice. I think that was good. Super fun practicing this skill, love it. So what did, what did you think? I yeah, I was just, speeds. I guess I, um, the fast one looks the hardest to me. Okay, that's, that's what kind of gets, 
get your mind working a little bit? Yeah, because I feel like you have to, to balance the bike somehow when the, the lip is doing something to your bike, but you have to yeah. absorb it just right to still land balanced. Yeah, so I went pretty slowly for me on the slow one um, after doing my comfortable speed, and then I went pretty fast, right? Super fast. Yeah, you don't need to go that fast. Well, that's good because I'm not even strong enough to go that fast. Oh, that's okay. So, but I also don't want you to get kicked, right? Yeah. So, like, that is that is the fear, right? That you're getting, when you hit a jump that fast, you think, well, isn't that going to kick me? But if your legs, like, if you adjust your suspension right in the right moment going up the jump ramp, it's not actually going to kick you. you know? I like how a lot of our lessons are, if you do it perfectly, <laughs> it, will, it will be fine. When you're going that fast. <laughs> so, like, your speed variation might just be, like, three or four miles an hour, which is plenty because you're going to go into a, a, a given jump with a basic idea of what you want to do, like mm -hmm. a, of the speed you want to have. So the adjustment you want to make is maybe within 5 or 10%. Okay. I just did like a 50% adjustment there, yeah, right? So see. that's not necessary. That's awesome if you're racing and you're riding really, you know, if you're going really fast into terrain, which I know you are racing. Um, but if I'm going into a jump super hot and I know I'm going to overcook it, then I really want to be able to have that ability to be passive. And then once, you know, obviously we can get into scrubbing after that. But this is just kind of like that control over our legs. And this is really the way that I'm, this is the mechanism that I'm using when I'm approaching a jump the first time. And I just wanted you to see like how stark the difference could be mm -hmm. to give you comfort now that you're going to be going into this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if I can do some of that, I'll be really happy. Yeah. Well, I know you can. So we'll just go like your comfortable speed and then we'll mm -hmm. knock a mile an hour or two off it. Try it at that speed. And then we're going to add a mile an hour to it. Okay, that yeah. seems reasonable. Yeah? Okay, you don't look convinced. I'm, no, I'm, I'm in. You're 100% in? <laughs> I'm in. Okay, let's do this. All right. Couple good pedal strokes. We're gonna need a little more speed. There you go. Nice, okay. I think that might be your slow speed once you get, once you get dialed in. Really? So just a tiny bit short. Oh, I was short? Just a tiny bit short, yeah. I at least you, the front wheel got it, the back wheel didn't quite, but that's fine. I mean. That, we're not going to get the exact placement of the landing here because this is a, a kicker ramp and it's meant for us to land on a downhill. Gotcha. Okay. That okay, was good. So a little bit more. Just a little bit more oomph. We're yeah. going more, are we going more speed or more press? More press, if you can. Same speed, more press. Do you think you could go slower than that and make it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Should I try? Yeah. <laughs> so so let's, let's start with your comfortable speed. Let's just try one more. I just want to see your comfortable one speed. One more comfortable speed. One more okay. comfortable speed, yeah. Was that a little further? That was good. I'll count that. Yeah, this yeah. is this is a pass fail class. It is, yeah. Well, you're passing so far, so right. good work. Mm -hmm. So now let's see, let's come into it just like uh, within reason as slowly as you can. So it might just be like a mile and a mile an hour or two different than it was. Okay. Right? Okay. So really pressing in. Sure. <laughs> that I was came, really slow. I was like, I came in really slow. Yeah. So part of what you're getting here from this practice right now is like. Okay, that would be too slow, right? Yeah. You're learning what your limits are of how much compression you can create at a given speed. And this is something you can just practice over and over. We can even move the, the distance of the, of the landing. Yeah. And then you can just like in real time, you can react to it and respond to it. Yeah, this seems like it has infinite challenge because you can come in at so many different speeds and have so many different distance Absolutely. goals. Absolutely, yeah, this is this, like if you can do this really well, both by varying your speed with a, with a given distance like we're doing right now, mm -hmm. and by being able to then just adjust the distance and get it right the first time, that's really gonna make you a, com a comfortable and competent jumper. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I wanna do the slow again. I have to get there you at could, that you, speed. You could do it, it's doable at that speed. So really press in with your legs, really just like press into that takeoff. Okay. Okay. We might be here all night. <laughs> that's okay, <laughs> I've got all night. <laughs> Wow, what's up? That was poppy. Was I almost there? Yeah, your front wheel got it. Back wheel was just a few inches short. Oh, well then I'm going again. That was awesome though. You got mad height off that. It was sweet. Boost. Yeah. That was I a sand. I got arc on that one. You got a lot of arc. You know why? Because <laughs> I pushed harder? Because you pushed really hard, right? So when you go active like that, really active legs, you're going to go higher. So now you're just going to gradually speed up into it. Good. Nice. Okay. That was good. That was faster. We that finally was faster. got there. That was faster. I'll give that to you. Okay, so more 
more fast? If, if you're comfortable with it, yeah. Our goal is to see within reason how quickly you can go over this without over jumping. Nice. You know what I liked about that? What? You went really fast and you under jumped it. So that means you could go faster than that and still get, get your goal. It is, it is, it's a different feeling. I mean, when you hit a jump super fast like that, the bike rebounds really quickly, right? Because you're getting out of its way. You're not holding the rebound and going up with the bike. The bike is moving through your body. Yeah. And it's a different sensation for sure. And that's why we don't want to go like, you know, 10 miles an hour at our comfortable speed and then like 20 miles an hour at our yeah. fast speed. We want to go like 10, 11, 12, right? Uh -huh. And start to feel what this feels like so we don't get kicked. Nice. All right, so how'd that last one feel? I thought it looked good. It felt really good. Um, I thought maybe I came up a little bit short. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but you know, again, if we were landing on a big long dirt landing, it's not a big deal. Really what we're here to do is to feel how changing your leg compression changes the jump outcome. And mm -hmm. I thought it looked good. I thought it looked safe. I think you'll be, it'll be interesting for you to see the video afterward in that you'll really see the height difference from when you're being active versus yeah. being passive. Yeah. So the arc is, is different. Right. Yeah, it'll be fun to put the slow one, the, like the slowest one up against the fastest one. Exactly. Let's see what the difference is. Cool. Do you want to try a couple more? I kind of do, yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah, this is just something that takes time and now, I'm, now I'm kind of got the bug. Yeah. So okay. just, uh, you know, shoot for the pink cones and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. I see what you do here. You put my favorite colors in I places do. that Get are you relevant. Yeah, it's, exactly. So she doesn't know we're doing this, but she said she's going to come in a little faster and this is not a dangerous landing. So just, all right. Oh, pedal, 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 pedal. Almost got it. Okay, I think I need to go faster. Okay, you can go a little faster. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh. A little passive, right? Really passive. Yeah. Well, I thought I was coming in hot. You were, and so what, what I think what happened for you is you came in hot enough that you got a little bit intimidated by your speed. Maybe, yeah. You know, so I think if you just go a slightly slower and really step in, you're going to get it. You guys moved this board. What? I can see the marks no where the way. old board was. That's look. old dust from <laughs> yesterday. I thought you guys were bringing it. Look at this. There's actually a line where this board was. That's a suntan. Uh, right. To be fair, I still think I messed that one up. But. You did. You got back. Like you got back and you got passive, which is actually like when we do get really passive, we are actually kind of escaping here and letting the, the seat come through. Uh -huh. So there is a little bit of rearward motion, but it's mostly just absorbing with the legs. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, you got this. I mean, you can jump this for okay. sure. Okay. All right. Busted. Can't believe she busted us on that one, man. I thought we had her, Kyle. <laughs> Do you want me to reduce the distance a little, or? No, I think it's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Cool. I think so. Just make sure your legs are pressing straight down, so there, you'll see this when you look back at this. Like, there's a little bit of like scooting away from the jump. I didn't feel that because I kind of felt the, the seat hit my butt where I felt like I must have been crouching a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you were. Yeah. So just think about nudging the knees into toward the jump face and really holding firm with the legs. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That felt way better. That was way better. You it stayed, was, stayed then, forward, stayed collected over your bottom bracket, really yeah. got some good pressure in. Yeah. So that was nice. Really good. Sweet. All right. So what I'm going to do now is that you actually get to see me move the board. Okay. So I'm going to move the board, not okay. secretly like I did last time. No, no secret squirrel moving of the board. That was kind of funny. <laughs> it was pretty far, wasn't it? So we're going to bring it in a little bit. Okay. And you're just going to try your slow and your, and your comfortable fast. Okay. Okay. And I will leave it here for you. <laughs> Glitter cones and all. Can't trust anyone these days. It's true. Least of all me. Okay. All right. Slow? Yep. Nice. Boost. Nice. That was awesome. Really good boost, really good arc. Super Great. nice. So that was, that felt pretty slow. Yeah, it was slow. That was definitely slow. 
more slow? I, I didn't, no, I, I mean, if you want to try it more slowly, you can, but I thought, I didn't think you were going to make it. And Good. And you really stepped in. That was awesome. This is such a fun game. It okay. is a fun game. Well, so do you want to speed it up or what's your goal now? I want to go even slower. You're going to try it even more? more kind of like the okay, slow cool. game. Let's do it. Okay. That's what will make you a strong jumper is the slow game, actually. Okay. That is slow. It would be impressive if she can make it. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I felt good. Yeah, you got your front <laughs> wheel like, over. That was impressive. I did not think you would get that far at that speed. I didn't think I would either. You got a lot of pop now, which is cool. All right, so let's see what you got at the other end of the spectrum here. A little racy. You got a race this weekend. I do. I have a race in like three days. All right, well, let's see what you do as a racer. Corner fast. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> corner, corner for the dough, jumps for show. But now we're going to turn this jump into, into a just raw speed so we can get into the next corner really fast. Wow, nice. That was a big uh, speed variation between those two. Thank you. Yeah. Super good. So hopefully this gives you some confidence as we move into new jumps, feeling like you can come in at varying speeds and still have a good safe outcome. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking too how much, we've done the feature board in the past and yeah. it's kind of the same, same concepts. Yeah. And I think, I'm hoping I'll be able to apply this to the trail. Absolutely. I mean, this, is, this, uh, this adjustment of the compression of your legs is useful for so many things, right? I mean, like we can use this for featuring, we can use this for jumping. Uh, we also can use this just in, in all elements of our riding in terms of being active or passive with our pumping, right? Mm -hmm. So anytime we're moving over the ground, we have this like computer system in our body, right? And we can, we can adjust yeah. our suspension in real time. And that's really the takeaway from this, I hope for you, that you actually have some control coming in toward a jump. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause I'm, I'm trying to hit some bigger stuff now and I, I wanna have a little room for error. Absolutely, we all do, you know, so this is a great thing you can come out and practice. You know, one of the cool things about practicing like this, obviously we're in a park with amazing jumps, but we were able to practice this with a really simple setting. This is something that really anybody can do at home, um, at their local park or whatever, with a little jump ramp. Uh, really great uh, skill for developing that sort of like response in real time to what you need to get what you want. Yeah. Cool. Cool, thanks nice so job. much. You're welcome. See you next time.